Asteroids plunging from space have transformed the surface of our planet. The leftover pieces of the asteroid rocks themselves contain valuable information about the origins of our solar system and the formation of planet Earth. But most giant asteroids vaporize when they impact Earth, destroying much of their hidden evidence. Geologists had to search for smaller pieces of broken asteroids called meteorites instead. This meteorite right here, this carbon-rich chondrite, uh, this probably is a close proxy of the kinds of materials that were bombarding the early Earth. In the beginnings of our solar system, there was nothing but gas and dust. As it cooled, solid asteroid rocks began to form. With modern technology, scientists have been able to pinpoint their exact age. And we now know by looking at meteorites like this one, for example, that in fact the solar system was formed 4.567 billion years ago. And we know that date uh, within a million years or so. As the meteorite rocks floated in early space, they collided and grew into bigger bodies. These ancient rocks were the building blocks of planets, including early Earth. After the planets formed, the rubble which was left accumulated and formed a cloud of dust and rock between Mars and Jupiter. This is called the asteroid belt. Every now and then, one of these rocks breaks free and tumbles through space at 25,000 miles an hour. In the late 1960s, a remarkable fall of meteorites hit the town of Murchison in Australia. Hundreds of pieces fell from space, greeting the residents of Murchison with a pungent smell of rotting organic material. Professor Wadwa and her department began analyzing the Murchison meteorite. Incredibly, they found it contained organic compounds called amino acids. These complex molecules are essential to all life. The organic materials in this type of meteorite uh, were actually the building blocks of, of life as we know it today. This is the raw material from which uh, life began on our own planet. It's possible that the seeds of life arrived from space, flown in by asteroids and meteorites. In the case of our own origins, it's not absolutely clear that we need have necessarily originated on Earth the seeds of our life and the very primitive life forms could have actually come from another planet or even another solar system. The analysis of these space rocks showed that the organic seeds of life had perhaps arrived on Earth, flown in from space. 